In today's Japanese lesson, I'm going to teach you about how to talk about family. And in Japanese culture, after some business dealings are done, and perhaps after you've gone out to dinner with your Japanese counterparts, you can pull out a photograph of your family and go through the list of who's who. In order to do that, I'm going to give you some simple Japanese for how to do that, okay? The word for father, in terms of my father, not someone else's father, but my father, is chichi. Okay, it's T-I-T-I in traditional Japanese type of phonetics, but sometimes in books it's C-H-I-C-H-I. Chi-Chi, okay? Then we're going to simply add to it the particle wa, which we've had in previous lessons that I've taught you about. And wa, what it does is it marks the subject and puts emphasis on what's coming after it, okay? And so it's going to be Chi-Chi wa, and then Bill Des. My father's name is Bill, okay? So, Chichi wa Bill Des. Now, in my case, I would add after that Nakunari Mashta, which means he's passed away. Okay? But in your case, he may still be living in present. So, you just would stop there. Okay? So, Chichi wa Bill Des. Now, you try it by putting in your own father's name. Okay? Chichi wa Des. Okay? Chichi wa Bill Des. Okay, so we've tried that a few times. Now let's get to mom. Now, a lot of people feel this is kind of funny, but mother's name in Japanese, my mother, is haha. Okay, so it's a little bit of a chuckle, I suppose, but haha. So, haha wa Dorothy des. Okay, and I could turn it into Japanese phonetics for them, but in all cases, they're going to be listening to you very carefully, so we'll give them the good English pronunciation so they'll learn. Okay, haha wa Dorothy des. Okay, so I'll try one more time, and you put in your mom's name. Ha ha wa Dorothy Des. One more time. Ha ha wa Dorothy Des. Okay, so again, you're trying by putting in your own parent's name. Now we have Kodomo. Kodomo means child, my child. Okay, so Kodomo wa Kota Des. Okay, my child's name is Kota. Kodomo wa Kota Des. You try. Put in your own child's name. Okay? And if you have more than one, we'll get to that. Okay? But for now, try that. Okay? Kodomo wa. Put in your child's name. And then say des. Now, if you remember from previous lessons, if I forgot to mention, des is is or a copula. It means is. Okay? So you're literally saying, as for my child, is and the person's name. Okay? We'll talk a little bit more about Japanese grammar structure in a little while. But for now, we're just going to go with vocabulary. Okay? Next, we have a different version of Kodomo. We have Musuko. Now, ko on the end of just about anything when it come, relates to children or names means child, literally. But Musuko actually implies a male child. So your male child's name is something. So Musuko wa kota des. Okay? Musuko wa kota des. Notice I'm not putting any sans or honorifics of any kind on my own family's names, okay? If I was talking about someone else's family and their children's name, I would always add the honorific san to it to be polite to them, okay? Now, if you have a daughter, which I do not, but if you have a daughter, it's musume. Musume. Musume wa Claire des. Musume wa Claire Des. Now you try. Put in your own daughter's name. Musume wa Des. Okay? Musume wa. Good. All right. Now, now in Japanese culture, pets are always just as big as they are uh, in their culture as they are here. And they take pictures of them all the time, just like we do. So, Inu is the word for dog. So, you're going to give your dog's name. Inu wa, whatever the dog's name is, Des. Okay? Inu wa Sadie Des. Okay? Inu wa Buffy Des. Inu wa Buffy Des. Right? That's not my dog's name. It's somebody else's dog's name. But, okay. Neko. Neko means cat. Okay? Neko wa, and our cat in Japan was Aichan. So, Neko wa Aichan Des. This. Now, I can put chan in there. Chan implies baby, and they often do that on an animal's name to make it more uh, pleasant, to make it more like a nickname, um, to make it more um, kind of cuddly. Um, so, neko wa aichan des, and I meant love. Neko wa aichan des. Interesting enough about Japanese cats, they don't have tails, most of them, so that's kind of intriguing. 
Okay, so this is basic vocabulary for uh, talking about family. And if you're showing, the best way to do that in Japan is to have a photograph of the entire family, you know, your typical Christmas shot, whatever, and take that out of your wallet, take it, take it in a photo album. When I went, I had a photo album that I could go through and explain who people were because I have a large family. And so that's a great way to do it. Just a little pocket size, nothing too big, nothing too bulky to carry with you as you're traveling. Uh, that's a great way to handle it. Or just the little flip book in your wallet. That'll work too. Thanks for taking some time to learn a little bit more Japanese vocabulary with me. I'm Blake Ensign, the founder of Kanji Camp. And I look forward to hearing from you at www.kanjicamp.info. We can also be reached by telephone at 317-348-0529. Let us know how we can help you learn Japanese.